everybody, and welcome to the Board Game Geek Show for Thursday, October 25th, 2018. We're at Spiel sure are. in Germany. Essen, yeah. Germany. Germany? Yeah. <laughs> Germany? And uh, it's been crazy. We've been. It's uh, only day one. It's, well, technically. Day, sorry, day. It's day, day one for everybody yes. else, but day two, day two for, for us. us. We started broadcasting. Yes. From 10 a.m. yesterday up till 7 p.m. and now it is coming up on 7 again. We did the same thing two days in right. a row. Um, oh my god! <laughs> We're running the gauntlet. It's a marathon. He's gonna take a nap. <laughs> That's uh, nine hours a day, and it's nonstop. Like we are not taking breaks. We got little, little tiny 10 minute segments to catch up yeah. if we're behind or whatever. Can you get dog? But the nice thing is we have a lot of people in the booth. Right. So we have a big you know, team. Like. I might be hosting for a couple hours, you might be doing a couple hours, yeah. you might be doing producing, and we swap around, so it gives everyone a little bit of a break, which is nice. Yep, absolutely. By the way, I should introduce everybody. Yes. The lovely right. co-hosts, Steph Hodge, W. Eric Martin, Scott Alden, Rodney Smith, and Lincoln Amherst. Hello, everybody. Hi. We very rarely get to all see each other. Well, I guess it's a few times a year now, so yeah. it's kind of fun. Yeah, it just fun. feels like it's often enough that yeah. we yeah. remember each other. Um, <laughs> Breaking minds. What'd you say? Recognize. Oh, recognize. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot yep. of shenanigans go on yeah, in here. Yes, yes, yep. Yes, yes. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the booth looks good. We had another snafu. The uh, stuff we sent over to sell at the, the store. Right promos, oh uh, gear, uh, not gear, so can gamer get gear, and the bits, yeah. all got stuck in customs. Theoretically, we're going to get it tonight. Yeah. And we'll be oh, really? delivered tonight, and we'll have it tomorrow. So that's kind of great news because... Because we've got a lot of people coming by. People are coming by looking for stuff. Yep. So, um, that's Promos it. are important. They are. We love, I love promos. Yes. And we wanted everybody to see the new bowls and the bits. You know, that's yeah. we didn't have those last the week. Bits are so we cool. shipped over a lot more stuff than we normally send, like, eight boxes, like, individual. Yeah, right. This year we shipped two pallets of boxes. Oh, so my gosh. it's a lot more stuff. That's right. So um, it better show up. It better show up. Um, so let's talk about games. Sure, let's talk about games. Lincoln, you want to start? What do you, if you, what's caught your eye today <laughs> or yesterday? Today was my, probably the big buy day. I went and bought um, Fuji. Very Fuji that, from Foyerlon. Designed by Wolfgang Barsh. Yep. And then I also. Art, art by yeah. Weberson Santiago. Oh, yeah, Weberson Santiago. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, you're like a. Well, well we, I've been we focusing on this game. Yeah, it's, yeah, Dude, it's all great. the stats. We want this game. <laughs> That was, that was my one preview. Pre-order. Board Game Geek is just him typing everything. When you go to the site, it's just him actively live typing it all up. <laughs> okay. But that one looks interesting, and I also picked up the other Wolfman Bars, the Bricks. Um, roll and Write game. Yeah. Bricks is cool. Cool. Yep. And uh, it looks, I actually played um, Trick Trick and Trouble, which is a three-player um, trick-taking trick game. Trick game. Cooperative uh, trick -taking game actually really neat. Um, I got to play uh, the Lighthouse. You were talking about Lighthouse Run. Yeah, Lighthouse Run from Amigo. Uh, really actually fun family race game with the where you're playing. You have a hand. Everybody has the same hand of cards, and you uh, will play all of them except for two. And you're trying to outrun a storm, and so it moves slowly at each round, and then it starts to jump ahead really fast. So you basically cannot bring all the boats into the safe spots and uh, you're, you're just picking which ones will be the best. But the neat thing is there's a cooperative element where you have to play cards that will move all the boats in that space. I mean not all the boats, one of each uh, player's boats in that right. space. And, um, so you're moving other people forward as well? Yes, but what happens is that when you play that card you get to move your piece one additional space. So that's the incentive to do it, but at the same time you're like loath to bring other people along with you, you know? <laughs> but it also but, uh, separates you as you move, so it's not just like, hey, we're working together yes. the whole game. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, really, really fun. And I played a Fine Sand, and uh, played that with four with Nikki, and uh, and that one's really actually quite fantastic. I have not got a chance to play Futropia. Finally showed up yesterday, I think. In the did you play Fortune? I did not play Fortune. We played it on the, the live stream. Cool. Like yeah, that's cool. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it works just like the fast forward games. And right. It, it is a fast forward. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Right. It works yes. just like you know, yeah. the concept of the other ones. Too. Huh. Yep. Any other things? Or? I mean, of course, there's a bunch. I bought a whole bunch of little Hevetic games. We played an old game called Bandito, yeah. which is designed by the same guy that did Hippo so before, good. which I played. Uh, hint, uh, spoiler, that Hippo's next one of the game nights next week. 
got two episodes. And um, it took two episodes to film Hippo. No, we did Hippo. <laughs> and I'm like, man, <laughs> that, 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 they're too short. They're burning. like 15 or 16 minute episodes. So okay. we did Hippo and uh, Goldfeet. Ah, other and so way around. Two games in one episode. No, no, I thought two it was episodes. Like two episodes. We always split them. See, at the yeah. end of the day, but they're both short ones. At the end of the day, very simple things become very complicated. Yeah, it's still on me. And I also got the team up, the Helvetic Palette <laughs> loading game, which is uh, looks like. Oh really yeah, fun. I want to play that. Yeah. Actually. So that that I'm, I'm excited. There's still more I want to buy, but I haven't had a chance to really get out there. Right. And you? Uh, uh, me? Yeah. yeah I am um, actually. I'll you show you where. Prepared. prepared. I, oh yeah, I'm prepared. I'm always prepared. Here's one of the games. We've all been playing kind of a cooperative game here. Oh, yeah. um, oh my God, kill us with candy. We'll People are bringing us lots and lots of food. Here. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Is this Finn, still working? Then jump and kick it. Okay. Oh, wait, you guys are looking up. You can look right there. Oh, yeah, right, of course. Remember, we have this. So, right lots there. and lots of candies and chocolates oh, and sweets <laughs> have been pouring into the booth. The bean and cheese booth. It's, it's, it's like a ton. That's just a sample. That's just a sample. So it's a game we're all sort of winning and losing at the same time. For <laughs> game. Yeah. Like, yeah, game, 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 game. Yeah. Man, not much is being lost, honestly. It's, it's been really sweet. People brought a lot of fun treats. It's very yeah. sweet. Yes. Yeah. Uh, European candy is the best, though. It's like nice gummies and But it's fun to try something different, too, that you just don't normally... What was yeah. it? You you had the, the, the trumpet... Oh, yeah, oh, those the bugles. The bugles. Chocolate covered, covered bugles. Oh, that's so delicious. Right. Yeah, really so the, the, oh, the bag's already gone. So okay. Sure. Yeah, it's already gone. I yeah. will talk about a couple of games quickly. Uh, the one game I was the most uh, excited to pick up and hoped I would come home with was uh, Concordia. Concordia, the new expansion, Venus. Which is a little confusing because there's Concordia Venus, and I know the preview, and there's Concordia, and there's Concordia Venus. Venus expansion. I'm like, they got an expansion for the expansion already? But no, so you can buy Concordia Venus as a standalone and has all the components you would just need to play it. So all the resources and coins and all that stuff. Okay. Or you can just buy the expansion, which gives you the expanded elements. The thing that was interesting to me about the game is that it allows you to play in teams. And I love team games, so a chance to play a game I already like Concordia as a team game, awesome. The one little way they get you is that in the, my understanding is that in the Concordia Venus, that's not the expansion, it's just a standalone, it has one extra map. Oh, then yeah, comes yeah. in the expansion. So I'm going to be one map short, but you know what? It's fine. I'm not bowling for this trick. You would have to buy both boxes to get everything. I, I'd have to buy like the standalone if I want to get all the maps. That's my understanding. Uh, well, That's what I've heard other people yeah. say. Asterisk. Asterisk? They have said probably the release will be separate. released in a year or two. Sure. It's sort of like the. Well, yeah. They, it, apparently, people are not happy with one of the two maps in the original game, right? And so they have a different map to go with the regular, right? Order. And so, at some point, I don't know. If you, I, if I can you be patient. patient person, I can be very patient now. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be fine. Get out your money. If you are a less patient or a more patient person, get out less money. Right. Or play something else. Or just play something while else you're, while, while you're waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of games. There's a lot, a lot of games. games. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many games. It's mind blowing. It is. This is the biggest it's been, right? It's oh, like yeah, massive it's size. It's like the crowds are dense. I really only left the booth one time it's today. Not. It's not people. I know. <laughs> so it's so dense. There's a d high density of <laughs> humans <blockheads>. here. <laughs> uh, skip me for now, but. Eric, what have you caught your eye? Or did you have anything else wrong? You mentioned one. I, I, that you was one. one. That other one I'll just quickly mention was Rebel Knox, which I haven't oh, played because yeah. I've played nothing. But Rebel Rebel Knox just looked like it's a trick-taking game, but it seemed to have a number of little twists, a little ways to like maybe be normally you want to capture as many tricks as possible. This is still true, but not always the high card is going to win it. There's little like uh, card effects you can play that knocks out the, the top player. So now the second player is going to win it. And this is also a team game. Secret, oh, secret teams, though, right? They, they, secret, it's secret teams, exactly. Secret teams. So if we're yes. working together, I might want to play the low card that's going to give an effect that will ensure you win it. Ah. Actually, but you can just go ahead. No, there's actually, all, as well, like an RPS trump circle. Right. There's three colors in the game, and each color beats one other color. Right. And so the color that you play is not trump. Right. Whatever color would beat that is trump. So it's. You talked about how every hand could potentially be all trump cards for you. Yes. Someone else is playing first. It really, it really kind of opens up that like you don't, you don't necessarily have a bad hand. You might be able, especially since you have a teammate, you might be able to help your teammate with your bad hand, quote unquote. And you can change teams. You can swap. You can suddenly be on another what? team. Yes. At the beginning of the game, I know I'm on your team. 
If I might play something later, and we're losing, I'm going to switch over to the other team. Oh <laughs> and you won't necessarily know that. So it's, so yeah, long, so it just intrigues me. It intrigues me <laughs> as a game. And it's in the universe of Capital Locks. That's right. I know, the with art this, is the just artwork of Quanchai, who's the best. And yeah. So Those are my two. Eric. Eric. I okay. played Azul, Stained Glass of Centra, and wrote up a preview saying, so uh-huh. my preview. How many words? Uh, it was, uh, I was late, so I kept. Uh, there was a lot of words that appeared and then had to disappear because they didn't make any sense. Right, right. I was falling asleep while I was writing it, and then, oh, there's like, oh my god. <laughs> it mostly makes sense, I'm pretty sure. It's got the drafting of Azul, but then you use the tiles differently, and it's a little more gamery with what you're trying to do. Love everything. I'm trying to pull stuff out. I think I'll probably like this one more. It is. Chad. Well, there's more crunchiness to it. Chad immediately said, I'm getting rid of Azul and uh, getting this uh, instead. Oh, uh, yeah. Fired right away. Thumbs up from John over there. Yeah. John liked it much better. Okay. It's a more gamer version. Yeah. yeah. It's so there me. you go. I mean, uh, what else? I was just talking with a designer for a while. It's, it's a very sort of deduction game called Verona Twist oh. by Joseph Dorsansky from Mind Fitness Games. I love his stuff. And it's pretty much, I have uh, two characters that I'm trying to make fall in love, like in Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet are hiding. And I want to keep them hidden and you want to discover who they are. And we're going to move nice. pieces around the board and after we all move, I say whether they're in the same zone or not. And I always move last so I get final say over what's happening here. And so you have to split them out and eliminate possibilities. Hmm. So it's a deduction for who these people can be. Yes. Hidden movement. Deduction, so, hidden movement. Oh, cool. Only two players. Only two players. Oh, interesting. Very straightforward, very simple, but he thinks a lot about his games. He's so really a lot of thought has been put into yes. it. Yes. It <laughs> yep. It's amazing. I love his stuff. Hmm? It sounds cool. interesting. Yeah. yeah. You also played Innovation because. Eric always teaches me at least one card game at a convention, and innovation was the one we learned this time. That's I mean, right. you played it a bunch. Yeah, it was my first time playing. Oh my gosh! I, just, I, I own it. I own it. I, oh, I haven't played every game. Okay. <laughs> All right. But you own it. I do own it. That was play one ninety nine for me. One hundred ninety nine. Oh, oh, nice. Do you want to guess who won? Yeah. <laughs> that guy. Yeah. Uh, that was my sure. guess. I should have put money it on it. It has a little yeah. bit of a experience matters. Matters. Oh, yeah, learning curve for sure, but it was a great teach, excellent teach. I gave as he always awesome. does. It was, was really good. good. I had a good time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah what do you got, oh, Steph? I, before Essen, I, I got to play Chronicles of Crime, and I can't, I can't stop thinking about this game. Really? I really want to try this. It's okay. really cool. I mean, I think it works like Detective, and you guys played that, but it's it's more, it's easier to understand because it's all app driven, and you. You don't. You read just little blocks at a time, and you get to the QR code, so everything's reusable in, in any game. Right, you play. It, makes, it can mix and match, and yeah. Yeah, have different meanings. Sure, it will be something, something different in the different next game. Oh, you can replay scenarios. Yeah. So, no, um, sort of. No, no but, I would think but it's so, a yes. generic. It's a it's a toolkit for the scenario. Oh, I so see. So all these things can apply to that. Scenario. Yeah, some can a different can be way. the criminal in one game, and the next game he could be the investigator. Okay. But okay. you can end the game, and you get you get a score. You get like a rating. Right. So I got like eighty out of one hundred. I'm like, there's room for improvement. You can either read the, what happens, or you can maybe go back and play with other people try and try better. and do better. Right. That's right. So that's, yeah, that's really cool. it's really yeah. cool. We filmed an overview at Spielborn Mesa, but we did not look at the camera right here because it's VR driven. Hard pretty to much. Yeah, it, so, yeah, we could just, just sit here watching scene. someone going like this. Well, so that's just one little part. And that's, and that's you looking at the crime scene, right? You're yes. seeing the crime scene kind of yeah. thing? And it takes up like 30 seconds, which yeah. adds more time to your actual clock in the game. Okay. But you're all working together from the app. Right. And, and you're figuring out, okay, well, we can ask this guy about the books over here or about that character over there. Neat. So, you're all talking Everybody about what, what we should yeah. ask about. Because, yeah, everything you do is more time added to... Oh, okay. So you're limited time to do what you want to Well, the more time you take, the less points you'll get. Yeah, yeah okay. so you're trying to do really well. That yeah, sounds cool. Yeah. And I'm really excited. I haven't got to play for Underwater Cities. It's supposed to be, like, Terraform Mars. That's what I've been told. Neat. So but underwater. I, but underwater. So I'm hearing a lot of what's going on. I really want to play this game. Yeah. So that's yeah. my, like, I want to play this other one. And it's Vladimir Suchi. Yeah. yeah. He's, He's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> really awesome. Yes. Me, yes. yes. <laughs> I, I was trying to remember the name of the game, so you guys are going to have to help me. Because okay. you demoed Ninja Dash? Ninja Squad? Ninja Squad. Ninja Squad. That I looked really fun. Yes, that looked really like, fun. Uh, it's the Back Spindle games. You yes. did the Luchador games. Yep. Um, David. David. Brayshaw. Brayshaw. 
now. Uh, you're racing across. The yeah, it's like a and it's cooperative, right? So then you're, the first time it's cooperative. Yeah, then you're escaping. Yeah. So yeah, it looked really fun. I like the little clear cubes that sit on top of the, the light spots as they're like lamps, and they kind of the way the light catches the natural light, it looks like they're yeah, lamps. Yeah, it looks really, it looks really yeah. great. I didn't even know about it before the show. Yeah, me either. Yeah. They, you know, they've had Luchador year after year, kind of promoting it, but this is like a new. I mean, unless I'm mistaken, one of their newer, like a new release so. for them. For yeah. In a while. Um, the other one was the Escape. Escape something. Something, something adventure, something. Escape. escape, something adventurous, escape. <laughs> this is by, this is by Boards and Dice. Boards and Dice. Yeah. Uh, do you remember the name? Nothing about it. Anyway. <laughs> if only we had BJG to look up. Okay. Yeah, it's, so you're exploring the room. Yes. Like it has a grid and you kind of say, I'm going to go into the corner of the room and look at that and you know, yeah, like a, like a lot of escape room games, it, there's a card you look at, you look, I look at this item or that item, yeah. that's numbered. But this is more like the whole card is broken into a grid. Into a grid, you can look you at pick. different parts of the room, yeah. and just different take on it, and looks more, and he said it's very story driven, uh, instead of just puzzles after In puzzles. nine different endings. So you play it, and then you play it again, because you'll, you'll get a different experience, supposedly, right? Because most escape rooms, when you're done, yeah. I've seen the puzzles, uh, it was fun, but I'll pass it on, or exactly. have to throw it out, or whatever. This one seems like it's replayable. Yeah. Also bought the Feast for Odin expansion. Woo! Yeah. I posted a picture That's earlier. Only, it's another hundred <laughs> action Oh my gosh, it's so it's good. Giant. Isn't it a big box? It is I mean, so it's, awesome. It's just, almost just as I big I looked as inside, I'm like, oh! The original game. Um, <laughs> we also bought um, the Viroid, which is Ostia Spiel. Yes. It's a hundred years. Oh, wow. So I'm bringing it to BGG oh, Con. Somebody better play it. Is that one in a tube? It's in a tube. <laughs> like the internet? 100 copies in existence. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Or 200. Okay. They said 200, 200 is copies. going to be their first run. These handmade bits, they're only a little bit. You had to pre order it ahead of time, and they wouldn't oh guarantee gosh. that they'd have wow. enough. It depended on when you ordered in, okay. the, in the system. So I took Doug's pre order. You <laughs> play a virus, and you were trying to kill humanity. Oh, sweet. Reverse pandemic. Reverse There's pandemic. Matt Leacock right, right over there. Right. <laughs> That's right. Coming after you, Matt. Um, yeah, there's just so many, so many great things. Uh, the name of the previous game, Escape Tales, The Awakening. Oh, Escape Tales, The Awakening. Ah, yes. Escape Tales, Where's The, the other, Awakening. Where's the other escape in there? You guys threw so escape. Uh, we we threw a few extra escapes. The Awakening there. Escape. Adventure. <laughs> but there's been a lot of great stuff. I mean, it, we're just the tip of the iceberg, oh. really. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. We'll only see a fraction of it. Yeah, and so you know, we're, we're doing a hundred. How many are we previewing? We usually 40, do three hundred videos. The three hundred videos. We only see a small fraction. Yeah. That's about a third, I guess. Yeah. Four. That we know a of. Fourth. <laughs> oh, no, no, we know. A fourth of what we know of. Yeah. Yeah. That's on top of that. Some, yeah. Most, don't bring me down. Yeah. It's a lot. I, I mean, you like did amazing. Twelve hundred. Yes. Yes. Let's say it again. Eric, the previews. It's more. I look around and there's like this. Uh, Taiwanese game that was in the press room. I was like, oh my god, that looks awesome. And then I actually yeah, and there's stuff there that comes out of nowhere, there. like, um, yeah. like Cabbage Head, yeah. which is Todd Sanders who designed the Draugr for us. It was not out of It's a micro game when we made, right. like three years ago, and then he's got another. Game. Well, well, Looney I know it's not out of nowhere, but yeah. it's like I didn't know it. It's filled the dirt. Moody Creation said, can I fill out your info form and not have you publish it until a certain date? And I said, if you fill out that form, I'm putting those games in. <laughs> and then they never responded it after that. Uh, I'm like, come on, dude. Just play the game. Give me, give the, me the, the info. Give me information. <laughs> I don't want the info there. Feed him information. The so. Is there anybody news announcements at the spiel? Other than, well, Asmodee, As um, no, bought, Asmodee bought ADC Blackfire. Or is in exclusive discussions to acquire ABC Blackfire. Ah. What is ABC Blackfire? So ABC Blackfire is a company has multiple branches, one in Germany, one in I believe it was Romania, and I think there's a Czech one as well. And, the and US. it does they're growing into the US, or at least they were. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. They've I mean, been on that. I mean, holy has gone. Um, but they have distribution and they have some original game publications. Uli Blenemann used to be editor for them and he has now left. He is with Compass Games doing stuff there. Um, they still have original productions but it's usually just like one or two titles a year. But they do a lot of distribution in those three com countries and Asmodee likes acquiring distributors. They've acquired a number of them over the years in the UK and in Scandinavia and elsewhere. Uh, Heidelberger all sorts of things going on, so more distribution channels just so as we can handle distribution of its own stuff. Right. Right? Why pay money to someone else when you can pay money to yourself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. And the sale of Asmodee to 
Equity firm Pi Partners was finalized on the 23rd. So Eurasio is out as owner and Pi Partners is in. What was funny though is I crashed the Asmodee. Um, did the sale price get enough? Get told? Mm, public I do number? not recall. From the, from the They're talking more about quantity of sales over the years and how it went up to this. And right. we have raised our, our amount, you know, 37% a year. Uh, I was at the Asmodee event that is not open to the public where they preview things coming in 2019 to various partners and it was it's run exactly the same way like there's nothing changing at least outwardly from whatever they're doing well they're the successful so yeah it's, it's like yeah. do more of that do more of that please yeah exactly <laughs> it's really they, they seem to be pushing a lot more into digital areas where they That's run, really good, though. you know games appearing on the, the, the uh, Nintendo Switch and PlayStation, and I think there's going to be Xbox Ones as well, and just everything going along those lines. Just because, again, aren't they doing games from other companies as well? They, yeah, they're doing. They did Terraforming Mars. Terraforming Mars. Yeah. Came out before we get back. Got yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't Side call it well. an announcement from Essen, but I think Mice and Mystics. Apparently, uh, there's going to be possibly a movie because it's it's in development. Uh, yeah, movie rights were acquired. Movie rights were acquired. There's a lot of steps wow. before we ever get to the screen, that but that's awesome. a that's a first step. That's yes. pretty exciting. That is yes. really exciting. Congrats to Jerry Hawthorne and the university created and Flat Hat and everyone involved. That's pretty cool. That's right. That's such a, he did not know it was going public. I talked with him for 20 minutes last night, <laughs> and then I go back to the hotel room and I find this out. Yeah. And then I, I like, add him on like a, a tweet. <laughs> yeah, I add him on a tweet. Seal and he's like, oh, if I knew, we could have talked about that. Wow. I've been dying to talk. That's exciting. That's yeah, cool. Right. So. Congrats. Uh, what other news? Anything else? Uh, games? What are we doing tomorrow? We're starting at 10 a.m. GMT plus two, two which is like really it's late six, six in America. Six hours ahead <laughs> right? of East Coast Eastern time, time yeah. nine hours ahead of West Coast. Can we do have people who tune in time. in the U.S., yes. Canada, who are staying up late to watch with us. Yep, that's, that's awesome. Right. Our Australian cool. contingent. Thanks yeah, for sticking to right. our technical yeah. problems. Yes. Um, yeah. Hopefully, well, I don't know if they're going to clear up. We're just going to have to deal with it. We'll keep working around it. We're working around it. Thanks for being patient. You just have to lie on the table. That one that camera's okay, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes. Well, yeah. It's okay. nothing no, nothing's reliable. Really nothing's reliable. Really <laughs> um, except that we'll be here one yeah, way yeah. or the other. No, and, the and the also, one reliable thing is that it's unreliable. That's true. We can count on that. <laughs> and, and maybe, uh, for those who don't know, because we do get asked what games are going to be next, there's a schedule, right? right. Uh, schedule's on the front page of BGG, but also if you do the uh, exclamation point other, or bang schedule, Okay. You'll get the schedule uh, oh, link, nice. and then we're updating the, li- the schedule in the Twitch. I know a lot of people are watching this on BGG's front page, but if you come to Twitch, uh, click through, and you can join the chat, and we have, like, you know, announcements, announcements going through there, and, like, Ooh, watch yeah. the Twitter. And That's right. We, we schedule <laughs> tweets for as yeah, much as we can for every half-hour block. These are the things coming up roughly the next half hour, although... Sometimes we, we finish time. early. And or things come way early. Yes. Yeah. Hans and Book an hour and a half early. Or sometimes oh, yeah. we fill it in with something else or whatever. Yeah. 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 So, you know, it's roughly accurate. Right. But if you're watching Twitch all day, then you don't, you'll don't. you just get it all. It's fine. Right. You'll be fine. Who you needs to work? Stay up all night. <laughs> or stay up all day. Yeah. And all day. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Any last things? Oh, anything, anything from the chat? I know we've been kind of Not talking amongst anymore. ourselves. If chat has any we questions. The schedule. Oh, that's good. Thanks for sharing. We'll give it a minute. That's right. Is anybody no, no, no. playing games tonight? Oh, I know oh, Steph they're is. They're doing. They're doing a stream playthrough of Discover Fantasy Flight. Oh, Fantasy Flight. Yeah, Fantasy Flight's got a, a big. Yeah, giant it's a little different than last media year, area though that they yeah. have set up. It's actually, I like it more this year. It's small stage with a big rounded screen behind them. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then the cameras are hidden away and. In the corner, uh, so it's it's pretty slick. Uh, I don't not, know where the big computer room is, like last year. Yeah, we were, we like, were sneaking in. Yeah, just rooms. taking a peek last year. A lot of technology behind what they got going on. Right. Um, that game looks really cool. Discover. Have to play it. No. Oh, yet. did not get there. No. Not yet. It arrived a little earlier. If it had come one day earlier. I got, I have no plans to play games tonight. Um, you guys, you play anything play tonight? Hopefully. Yeah. Anything? Solenia is my number one. Solenia. Isn't that the uh, pickle rig? Solenia. Solenia. Yeah, yeah. Solera. <laughs> no, no. Solenia. Solenia. Pickle rig. 
because I don't think I could handle under underwater cities tonight. So ah. I'll go with a little later. Little later, right? Yeah. You know, another game that caught my eye today just hit me: The River. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I want to yeah. play, play, so play it so bad. I want to play it so bad. It looks like a nice family style mm -hmm. working placement. Right. I haven't gotten yeah. a good look at that yet. But. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, well, we're Oh, yeah, hey. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, take it by then. Yeah. What the heck? Give me oh, a recording. Yeah. yeah. All right. I can edit it out. So that's our spiel wrap up for the Board Game Geek Show. Thank you to my co hosts. Lovely. They are <laughs> Steph Hodge, <laughs> W. Eric Burton, Roddy Smith, and Lincoln Amherst. Bye. Thanks see you, so you next time. Yeah, we'll see you. Bye. So fun. Bye. Bye.